You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, August 13th, 2018. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be talking about Mary. The reason why we're spending this week talking about Mary is because on Wednesday, August 15th, we have a big Marian feast, the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. And while we are going to be talking about that later, today we are going to go way back to the beginning. We're going to talk about Mary when she was born. Before we get into that, though, I want to remind you about something. Mary was a real person. Sometimes when we talk about things that happened a long time ago or people that we've only ever met in books, sometimes we can start to think that they weren't real. But Mary was. She was a real girl. She had real parents. She lived in a house, and she had real thoughts and emotions just like you two. She was very, very real. The only difference between you and Mary is that Mary was born without sin. As she told Bernadette in Lourdes, she said, I am the Immaculate Conception, meaning Mary was born without sin. Now, chances are you have been baptized. The reason why we baptize babies is because of something called original sin. When we're born, we have inherited that sin that Adam and Eve committed long ago in the Garden of Eden. They were disobedient to God, and because of that, they were cast out of the Garden. We don't live in the Garden anymore either, and we have inherited a tendency to sin. But this wasn't the case with Mary. God protected her from this original sin. And even when she was first being formed in the womb of her mother, St. Anne, Mary was protected from sin. She was immaculately conceived. God did this because he was preparing the perfect mother for his son, Jesus. And that is, of course, what we know Mary became. And so, Sprouts, I have a challenge for you today. Remembering that our Blessed Mother was sinless, I want you to think back on your baptism. Chances are it happened a long time ago when you were a baby and you can't remember it. But on the day of your baptism, you were washed clean from original sin. And in that moment, You were sinless. Your soul was perfectly clean. So think back on that perfectly clean soul. Now, chances are, if you're like the rest of us, you've committed a couple of sins and your soul isn't perfectly clean anymore. But I want you to remember how important it is for us to take care of our souls and to make sure that they don't get stained and dirty with sin. So take a moment and recall your beautifully clean soul and make a private commitment to yourself and to God to do everything you can to keep that soul as sparkling clean as you possibly can. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. Just one more thing, Sprouts. If you would like to continue to learn about your amazing Catholic faith at home or in school, I encourage you to download and use a set of free Catholic coloring pages. There's one for each letter of the alphabet, and you'll find them at do small things with love forward slash coloring.